Hello, beautiful souls. I'm here with you today for our newsletter for this week. Before I start reading the newsletter for this week, I do want to share with you that I'm going to be posting some updates really soon about some of the powerful energy that's coming to us as we are aligning towards the eclipse season, as well as our alignment with the galactic center coming up in the beginning of December. There's some really powerful energy that we're really starting to feel right now. And I wanna be able to give each and every one of you as much of a heads up on the energy that we are going to be feeling moving through our system in order to be able to just realize that it's just part of the energy that's moving. It's just influxes that are happening. And more importantly, how we can harness this energy and to really use it to elevate, to open us up, to really work through our chakra systems, open up our meridians and all of these other energy systems that we are uh, really opening our awareness to learning how to utilize, how to help us advance within our higher consciousness and our higher levels of bringing in the plasma waves. I know you guys are feeling this too. There are just massive influxes of new light codes, new light waves that are coming. And just to know that as this happens, this is just going to continually be the new normal. We are really, really going into a state of being, of being able to sense and feel other dimensions, other realities. So even your vision might be starting to feel a little like you're seeing behind or between the veils, if you will. And with that, um, with one of the next posts that I'm going to be doing, I have a very small one here to share with you. I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but plus the screen's a little small, but it is a Sentamani stone. This is so powerful, so beautiful as far as it allowing us to help anchor and support different grid lines on the planet. It's another galactic stone. And um, so I'm just very excited to share with you some of the different galactic stones that are really asking us to work with them right now. It's the Sentamani stone, the Tektites, the Moldavite, some of these different stones that are allowing us. Um, uh, and even uh, I have a very small one that was gifted to me, a little aquamarine stone. Uh, but these are stones that are really powerful for helping us to activate our communication, our inner awareness, to clear energy that doesn't serve us. So this is the level of stuff we're being aligned to with that uh, kind of energy. So as I read today's post today, I'm just going back to foundational. We're starting to look at our morphogenetic chakras, which are the chakras beyond our seventh chakra. So today's post is really just going back and really setting the foundation so I can have it all in writing as far as working with our first harmonic universe of chakras. So hello, beautiful souls. Our chakras are a vital part of how our body processes the instruction sets from our morphogenetic layers of our higher stations of identity. This is another way of saying that our chakras help us process information, energies, and memories from different spheres of our consciousness. We are approaching our chakras and the understanding of them from a 15-dimensional time matrix model and acknowledging our body as one of the stations of our totality of our identity that is existing currently in the lowest harmonic universe. I have talked before about the harmonic universes, so you can visit some of those posts so to go a little bit deeper back again on that topic. Today, we are going to explore the first harmonic universe, which most of us are transcending and moving into higher states of awareness, but it's still important to know as it is still processing information for us as well as allowing us to grow. Our first harmonic universe. For human beings, these consciousness bodies exist throughout the densities and are aspects of the higher self and light body. These aspects are called stations of identity. In the first harmonic universe, in the first dimension, second dimension, and third dimension exists the three layers of the personality matrix or incarnated human. In the first harmonic universe, that which is in the first, second, and third dimensions, exists 
the three layers of the Earth matrix, so planet Earth. And that is a quote from the Energetic Synthesis Ascension Glossary. Our base chakras are in our root, our sacral, and our solar plexus, and corresponds with the first dimension, the second dimension, and the third dimension. These chakras are rooted in the earth body and are part of our lower stations of identity that you call your ego, meaning the name that you call yourself right now. Each chakra creates a layer of your auric field, which also holds instruction sets for how you perceive your reality. Instruction sets are like programming codes that run your experience of your reality. For instance, this can be belief systems, memories, fears, security, etc. As you align yourself more and more with your higher self, which is you as a higher station of identity, the more you get to the place where you surrender your ego to your higher self and start to live your soul's purpose. When we live our soul's purpose, we focus more out of the structures of the 3D reality and we start to align our goals with our spiritual goals. This is similar to moving away from being focused on riches and wealth and now starting to focus on doing shadow work, healing the inner child, soul retrieval work, balancing chakras, etc. The first three layers of our chakra system are based in security, relationships, boundary, and self, and they help us process our subconscious, our instinctual, and our reasoning minds. The root chakra helps to connect us to earth and eventually to our morphogenetic chakras 12, 13, and 15, and it creates more of our etheric body that is right close to our skin. The sacral chakra creates the emotional and elemental body that looks like our aura around our body. This is usually what others pick up from us when they feel our moods and our emotions. The solar plexus chakra is the third layer and it holds our mental body. This is where we learn to surrender ego to our higher self so that we can begin to move up the ladder into our heart chakra and the fourth dimension, which is the bottom level of the second harmonic universe. We will explore the second harmonic universe in the next post. Our first harmonic self is the furthest separated from the source of all that is. As we explore all of our chakras, we will get to take the journey back through our blueprint, back to source. We are also going to become more familiar with our 12 tree grid, which is the first expression from source that has a micro macro feel to it, which has moved down through the dimensions and right into our morphogenetic field, which is manifesting our current life, our current reality and how our consciousness functions. As we take this journey through our chakras, just know that they hold gifts for us in every shadow that we find. Since we are here living life on planet Earth at this time, we have to deal with the lower vibrations. Our gift is in being able to clear this density right through our body. Our body is a karma resolution vehicle. That is why our body is so special. Before we wake up to our higher awareness, it can feel like this life is happening to us and we are being punished or that we don't have choices, but this could not be farther from the truth. Our galactic soul consciousness chose to come here and be a vehicle of change to reach this density and then wake up. It's an incredible celebration when we do. Many of our star families are, are here now, incarnating into physical, human, angelic forms in order to restore our divine blueprint, our angelic DNA. I know this sounds incredibly important, and it is. Here's the thing. In the physical reality, it usually looks like you're doing the healing work, letting go of the past, learning to be sovereign, and raising your vibration, which really means that doing this incredibly important work is really just being you. The most important thing you can do is be. Be a high vibrational being, even when things get tough. Remember that this world does not define you. 
Your family does not define you. The 3D realm does not define you. You are an angelic human being that is restoring your divine rights. So mostly that means taking back your mind, your thoughts, and your beliefs. You being you, no matter what is happening around you, is the most important thing that you can be doing for this planet. So thank you. Thank you so much for being you. I will see you in the next post for understanding our second harmonic universe chakras and how they are stargates that help us connect to different timelines, stations of identity, and other star races. So with so much love, thank you so much.